Hey guys, how's it going? Go see Rich here today, and we're going to be working on a lawnmower. It is a Cub Cadet. As you can see, there's our product number and everything like that. And what's going to happen is we're going to have to replace the drive line. This one's basically kaput, it's shot, and as you can see, it's just kind of dangling and crap like that. So we're going to be switching that out. And we've got a brand new cable, which we've ordered in. I'll give you a shot once I pull it out here, and we'll show you how we're going to switch it to make it that much easier for you. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you'll see that there's a bolt that comes right through here and there's an 11 millimeter nut on the end. So I just quickly took that out, unclamps this, and now we have both our lines free right here, which is what we want. Don't lose this and don't lose the nut. We'll put that down there, and now we have this all free up here. This, well, that comes out easy enough. And now that this is all free, now we can trim our zap straps, which are along here. Um, again, this might have been mod from my OPA, but you want to trim these and so that way we can get it at the line and then we'll flip this to the side. Be careful that you don't have your, or you watch where the blade is underneath when you're doing it, obviously, and we'll show you from there. But yeah, just trim up the zap straps and we'll show right here. I'll just show All right guys, if you look right here, there is a bolt. You're going to want to take this one out and that's just going to help us for when we flip. There's a plastic guide or something underneath it, which we're going to remove out. So stay tuned and get that uh, bolt out of there. Alright guys, once you tip it, just a quick uh, thing for you. If you have a suction gun, suction the gas out. We didn't have much, so it wasn't a great big deal. But if you take a look right here, 10 millimeter bolt, take this one out. There's also a, another bolt right here. You're going to pull that one out. Once you get this bolt out, this bolt out, we've already gotten off, or there's also another one right here, so you're going to want to pull that bolt out right there. So once you pull this one out and that one, we can work this tray out. I'll let you know if there's any more bolts for you to remove. Alright guys, so if you remember, I told you to take out that one up top, so we did that one, we did the side one, we did the other side one. After you do that, as you can see, this was suctioned in there, I just wiggled it out. It's a nice tight fit. While this is in, you can always get good cleaning. And uh, so, once we uh, do that, we're just going to wipe this up a bit. And then we're going to track our drive line, and then we'll go from there. As you can see, you can see the drive belt here too. So, at this point though, we're just doing the drive line, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so you'll notice you got this big motor here, and you'll notice that this was up here, and this hook was down inside and hooked on there. What I did is I pushed uh, this all the way in and then I got the hook on an angle like this, if you take a look, and then I pushed up and it came out. After you do that, you take this lever right here, you move her up all the way to the top, it removes this, and then this entire bay right here comes up and over here. Now if you take a look on our clip right here, there's going to be two wings. You can go like this and you'll see where you have to squeeze them, but there's two little plastic wings. You squeeze it with a pair of pliers and that pops out here. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to put the new one. All right, so if you take a look here, these are the two little wings that were clipped in there. All you do, take a pair of needle nose like so. I got two pairs there. You squeeze it and then you just, as you're squeezing, pull and it comes right out. This one goes up through that hole and it's gone. And then you got your new one. So. We're going to feed that in through the top and then we're going to just squeeze it back in and it's basically do this video in reverse. So if you have any questions, post in the comments section below. Other than that, I hope this video helps you out. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Like the video if it did. And of course, subscribe to see more videos. Peace out. Pull on that and he can see. All right, guys. So another thing, one last thing. Uh, as you can see, I just redid three tie straps here. We're all nice and tight along here. Now, if you look, he's going to pull on the lever up there. And as he pulls, you're going to see this get super tight. And that's what you want. You want this to get tight so that way it drives the motor, as you know. So now that we know that the drive motor is engaging and this, the other thing you can do is a dry test, which is after this is all done up like this, put it down on the grass, start it, and see once you do it, it's cutting. And that's the best way to check. Uh, as you can see, everything's cleaned up in here, no debris. Just a quick last minute thing for you to do. Now you can finish putting it back together.